Hey Aaron, um, I'm happy to help out. So um, I've, I've loaded up some tracks from a hike I did many years ago, but it was a pretty fun hike to, to track. Uh, and I've got it open in Basecamp, and it sounds like you can easily get that far. Um, so from here, uh, what you need to do is, is click on the, the track over there on the left, or even the active log that shows up. Uh, and again, lots of points there, but we can get rid of the points later on. Uh, so I'm going to, with that highlighted, come up here to File, and hopefully this is similar enough if you're on a PC. Uh, but we're going to export out that a uh, little bit, because uh, Google Earth can't read a GPX file, so we need to turn it into a KML file. So we're going to export that as whatever you want to call it, wherever you want to put it, and we're going to change the format to KML. And it maybe even sounds like you've gotten this far too, so I'm going to export that out. I've already done that. Um, so I'm just going to cancel that. And I'm going to switch back over to Google Earth. This is where my hike happened, kind of a fun little spot. And then in Google Earth, I'm going to File Open and choose that CP Tracks KML file. And again, it shows all the points and everything, and it looks cluttered, and it's hard to see. Kind of fun. You can use the little play button down here. Um, to play that through if you want, but again, probably too many points. So if you if you change the setting on your GPS so that you're collecting fewer points, uh, this won't happen. But if it does, or with the ones you've already taken, uh, here's what you should try. So what you should do is over here in your layers and stuff. Let me close my places so I can you can see what's going on. A little triangle next to that layer we just imported. I'm just going to open those up and open up the active log and it's comprised like i said it, uh, a track is only points with lines connecting it so if i don't want to see the points i just uncheck that box and the points go away and i can't really see the track now because it's about the same uh, color as the background but what you can do is right click on the active log choose get info and then with the little window that comes up under style and color just pick a color uh, that you like. So I'm going to choose like a nice orange and say OK. And again, if you're on a PC, it's probably something very similar to the steps. But um, And there you have it. Now you've got your lines uh, and your your hike as uh, or your walk uh, as just tracks on in Google Earth. And then you can save those points. Uh, right click on that and say save to my places. And then that uh, walk, let's do that, there we go, is now down here under active log, and I can rename it, call it uh, confluence point hike, or whatever you want to call yours. And then you've got, uh, you've got that thing saved, and you can keep an archive of those. So I hope that helps. Uh, if not, email me back. Maybe we can set up a time to, to chat, and I can walk you, walk you through some steps. All right. Uh, take care. Best of luck with you. Get healthy. Uh, see ya.